Hi and welcome back to MS Excel 2013 tutorial. In this uh, video we're going to be having a look at working with functions. Now in the previous video I showed you how to work with basic formulas in that we used certain mathematical symbols um, to do certain work for us and what we were looking at there is the multiplication which multiplies numbers together, division, divides numbers uh, addition where it adds numbers together and subtraction which will then allow you to subtract numbers. Then we went in and I showed you the auto sum. Now the auto sum is known as a function. So I'm going to go back to here under D10 and select the cell and click on auto sum under my editing group over here. Notice it's come up and done several things for me. Number one, let's put a blue square around the numbers that are going to be auto summed together in other words the numbers that are going to be added together then below that it's gone in and it's now showing what the function or what the formula is using the function so equals to start the formula off so we now know we're working within a formula sum is the actual function which means sum total of which means add together then, like in all formulas, when we start off a formula, we'll start it off with an open bracket. Then we'll put in our range of cells, D5, colon, separating them, to D8, telling the system that it's a range. And then remember the law of mathematics, for every open bracket, we have to have a closed bracket. So now you can see we've got our bracket there as well. Below that, it's showing a brief summary of what the formula is going to do within the function, or what the function is going to do. The function is going to add together a number of different numbers. Now, when I put push enter over here, there we've got our total of those um, four numbers. And that is not the only function that I can use. There are dozens of functions. Um, I'm going to show you four of them for now. Well, the first one, as you could see, there was the sum. So I'm going to equals sum. And notice now that I'm typing in the um, function, it actually brings up a pop-up list here showing me all the different functions that start with the letter S. Then U for, M, uh, U for sum. And as you can see, it comes up with substitute, subtotal, and then sum. Now I select sum by double-clicking on it and it automatically starts my formula for me with an open bracket and I'm now going to go and select the cells. Notice I've can you can select the cells anywhere. Enter to complete and that is my sum function. Then we've got the minimum function. Now what the minimum function does is it allows me to go in and have a look for the lowest number within that table array or within that range of cells. So to start it off again, we start off the formula again, equals. Now what are we doing? We're going to put the min function, so type in mi and select minim for minimum. Select your range of cells once again and click enter. And now it's showing me what the lowest number is. Next one, max. Start the formula with an equal sign type in MAX, select the cells, and enter. And then average equals, to start the formula, AB for average. Now be careful here because there's a number of different averages as you can see. The average that we're going to use is the second one. Double click on it, average, and select the cells, and enter. Now this is telling me that I've got an average of 96.75 for these cells which I'm now putting the bracket around, uh, the border around. So those cells there give me a value or a average of 96.75%. So now you can see the different functions as they have operated. Okay, that was um, going in, typing in the functions. What happens if I wanted to use a function and I wasn't quite sure what it was or what functions are available? Well, that's pretty simple. I go up to my formula tab at the top here, click on it, 
opens up the formula ribbon and in the formula ribbon you can see the um, function libraries and also on the left hand side over here the insert function now if I click on insert function what it does now it brings up a insert function dialog box and is going to take me through and ask me what function do I want to use just going to close that off if I go to auto sum it's going to put the auto sum in for me and it's going to wait for me to add in the range of cells then the one next to it over here is the recently used recently used will show me all the formulas or functions that have been used within formulas um, recently then financial functions as you can see there's a whole list of financial functions here logical functions we'll discuss in more advanced tutorial textual comes up with specific textual words and you can use them directly from there date and time function yeah I can go in and I can set set up various dates and times the other method of using your functions is um, to go and click on the insert function over here select the function that we are going to use let's say in this exercise average click on OK and it now brings up this function argument dialog box basically what it's going to ask you here is to go in and either type in over here the uh, cell reference or by selecting the cell reference by collapsing this dialog box by clicking on this button on the right hand side over here selecting the cells going back to the collapse button over here click on it select the second oops made a mistake there let's fix that select the second one second number but as you can see this is quite a lot of work once you've selected all your numbers you click OK and automatically then now uh, as you can see it's given me my information so I can use the argument dialog box, box as well alright just um, note one thing over here quickly if I put, put in an equal sign and I start typing up the function Notice, um, not only does it give me all the functions, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, in the drop-down list, but it also tells me on the right-hand side what the function does. So if I go to sum if as an example, so let's do this again. Sum, and they're telling me sum as together the range. If I type in if as together range if it's spec specified by a given condition so as you can see it tells you what um, it's actually going to do just one final thing that I'd like to show you here regarding the insert function dialog box let me bring it up I'm going to select average is good and OK now I'm going to it's going to ask me to add the numbers or the cells that I want to average by using this um, function dialog box as I showed you earlier on we actually can go in and select the cells from here but when I'm doing that watch on the right hand side it will show you the um, dialog box or the cell value as we add them in and then at the bottom over here it will show you my average so let's just delete that one for now you can see there's nothing in there click on the collapse button select the first number expand button as you can see, showing me 100 there, and at the bottom over here, more results, 100. And this is going to happen as I select each number, 110, and so we can go through. Great. And that's uh, functions for you. Right, we've come to the end of this video. Uh, let's have a look. We've covered functions, the various minimum, maximum, average, and sum function. And we've seen how we can use the formula toolbar to assist us with the functions as well. Um, you've used the insert function button and that brings up your dialog box and in there you can insert the information that's required. Right, I want you to go back 
now to uh, your spreadsheet and practice these different functions that I've shown you. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in a bit.